AirAsia CEO discusses the future of the airline in India. Competitive market, tough for tough for outsiders to come in. They're, they're, they're not they're not welcoming like you are, Pete. Um, and so you know we've had fantastic partners. I couldn't have asked for better partners in the Tata Corporation. And uh, you know it's it's like what I said right at the beginning. It's it's now you know let's let's know where we're strong. Let's know what we're good at. And let's not have an ego. And if if things don't feel right, um, then we, we look at uh, other options. And we're in discussions with the Tatas right now. Obviously, we've exited to Japan because um, we were too small, and uh, COVID put a nail, final nail to that coffin. Um, so, what are we strong at? We're strong in Southeast Asia. That's our that's our sweet spot. India's been fantastic because we built a lot of connectivity for India. Which we, our brand wouldn't have been well known without AirAsia India. But whether we should put money, uh, you know, to, to continue in uh, India or to expand in ASEAN, that's a discussion I'm having with my partners in India. And uh, you know, imminently, I'm sure there'll be some announcements one way or the other. With a 22 hotel portfolio across three brands, we find out more about the Park Collection's luxury boutique hotels. Park Collection, uh, which are small 20 to 40 room, uh, more boutique hotels, which are in, um, in very particular uh, locations or have uh, beautiful architecture or design. So in that, uh, that kind of portfolio, we have uh, two properties in Goa, one is on the beach, one is, has an adults only theme. We have another hotel in Sirampur, which is, um, it's only six suites, but it's probably India's first um, uh, hotel, uh, which operated in 1786. Uh, we have a property in Chetinad, the Sunder conversion. And we have just signed on uh, uh, with the government of Punjab to take over a, a historic um, palace in Patiala.